Hi guys, welcome to Wisdom of Photography. Um, just a quick couple of ideas today. Um, this, not wouldn't call it elusive um, hair light, but people seem to love the hair light. Just wanted to show you how sometimes it can just look a little too overdone. It's not a hard and fast, but although it's 95% of the time a good idea, um, there's also um, an idea of sometimes the image can be more effective to not have this hard hair light from the sun just to move your subject into the shade as you can see here this image seems to have the edge over this image um, this is just a quick idea very important thing to remember always head down one of the uh, one of the what I think is probably uh, one of the biggest posing killers is people raising their head up too high just constantly remember to have your client your subject have their head um, in a natural position not lifted up too much this is just a nice example of the same picture taken in two very different ways this is using a strong flash a very strong flash at ISO 100 f11 at 200th of a second I'm limited to 200th of a second because of my flashes that's my that's my fastest uh, sync speed um, and the same image taken at 1.8 at a one uh, one sixty of a second at a one sixty uh, one sixty ISO, so the exact same place, um, and just two very different images that you can take in the same place using slightly different equipment and obviously different settings. Uh, this two here is the example of the difference between a flat, boring light and a much more interesting light, sculpted. Um, sculpted lights, maybe a drop overexposed um, but just to see the difference between how much more interested it is when you bring some kind of interplay between shadow and highlight and this is just an example of an image that I took yesterday where although it's slightly different there really is no benefit between one or the other and spending too long deciding which one of these images would basically be a waste of time best idea is just quickly press delete before you spend too much time. Okay, all the best and look forward to speaking to you next week. And please don't forget to subscribe and pass on to friends and etc, etc.